Perfectionists, I know I'm talking to you because you guys come a dime a dozen in athletics. I want to help you channel that perfectionism into something helpful because right now, most likely it's hurting you. So what do we do with that? Well, let's look at the method from Dr. Talbin Shahar from Harvard University. Does a lot of work with perfectionism. I've learned a lot from it. First, we're going to look at the two different types. The perfectionist, which is the unhelpful perfectionism. Perfectionism defined is like this. Striving for something beyond reason. Okay, that's the unhelpful perfectionism. It's unreasonable expectations. All you're dealing with is paralysis, anxiety, frustration. A helpful perfectionist is what Shahar calls an optimalist, meaning optimal, defined as the most favorable result according to a certain set of circumstances. That's what you want to move your perfectionism into. That. Now look at that definition. That's perfect for athletes. The most favorable outcome given a circumstance. Look at basketball. The circumstance is the game is so fast. Okay, and it's a bunch of people on a crowded court. You're going to mess up. That's the circumstance. The circumstance is it's a chaotic sport. So instead of being a perfectionist, striving beyond reasons to say, I don't want to mess up at all. I don't want to mess up at all. Even though the circumstance is a breeding ground for mistakes, the game of basketball. To bring in that striving for something beyond reason of never messing up means you're going to do what? You're going to be paralyzed. The only way for you to achieve that goal is to avoid everything. Right? So now you're the typical perfectionist that's on the court, not taking any shots, passing the ball, running the wing slow so you don't have to get the rock. Move into most favorable outcome given a set of circumstances, a set of circumstances meaning that you understand the game is designed failure. It's designed that way. That's my circumstance. Now, how do I get the most favorable outcome given that circumstance? What would that look like? That would look like you being proactive and accepting what could happen. But I want to play the best game I can play given a circumstance. The greatest difference between a perfectionist and an optimalist is they either accept or reject reality. A perfectionist rejects reality. The reality of basketball is you're going to mess up because look at how the game is designed. That's the reality. Perfectionist rejects that reality and says, I don't want to mess up. I don't care what the circumstances are. I don't want to make a mistake. Now they're paranoid. They make mistakes. So they retreat. And the whole thing is just chaos, frustration, unpleasant. All right, an optimalist accepts reality. They say, <clears throat> excuse me, they say, I see how the game is designed. Small court, 10 people on it, everybody's fast, tall, and can run. Right, there's going to be a lot of sloppiness, there's going to be a lot of mistakes. It's not going to be perfect. So I want to decide that I, I'm going to do the best in that reality. And they accept that they're going to mess up, but they take their chances, they make their plays, they're aggressive no matter what.